So I ended up through incredible synchronicity and working at IONS as a consultant and then an employee and now as the director of research. And I'm so incredibly grateful that I can pursue doing rigorous science on what many people would call very esoteric topics. So you might be wondering, well, how is IONS allowed to do this, but nobody else will? And IONS was actually founded by Edgar Mitchell. And Edgar is an Apollo 14 astronaut that was an elect, uh, engineer. He was the sixth person to walk on the moon. He went to the moon, he did his job, and that in and of itself is so incredible. And he was coming home in his capsule and he was spinning in his capsule, seeing the moon, the stars, the earth, and had this incredible transcendent experience where he felt one with everything and that he was a part of everything. So when he came back to earth, he decided to create an institute that would focus on studying this incredible interconnectedness. And that was in 1973, almost 50 years ago now. Wow. And so ION since then has been pursuing science and education about this topic of interconnectedness. And when you think about interconnectedness, it includes things that would be housed under parapsychology. This notion that our consciousness is not actually trapped in our physical brain, our physical body, and that it can expand beyond it. And at IONS, we propose that everyone has the capacity to channel in some form, but mm. that channeling shows up in many diverse ways and on a spectrum from things like intuition or gut hunches that probably everybody could say that they've had an experience of that all the way to perhaps more rare things like mediumship and trans channeling. And then in between, you might have things like, you know, uh, knowing someone's mind or their emotions or uh, knowing the future, having a dream where you dream something and then it comes true in a couple of days. These all have various terms associated with them. And some, including myself, would argue that all of these phenomenon that we experience are part of the same um, human experience of actually being all interconnected hmm. and that our current materialistic paradigm doesn't really leave a lot of room for that 